Okay, we're ready for step two. We've got our uh, dough here, and the first step is to punch it down. And uh, you need a little flour on your hands to get it out of the pan. Oh, and flour on the uh, cutting board. Enough, but not too much. That's probably a couple of tablespoons or so. And then I just shake it out, and I didn't mention that this recipe is for two dozen. So we get all of it out of the pan as much as we can. And since it's for two dozen, we need to divide this in half, just kind of guesstimate. And I put one half back in the bread pan until we need it. And again, keep some flour on the, the uh, cutting board. And then I just kind of smooth it out a little bit, stretch it some. And then I like a uh, marble rolling pin. And you just roll it out and roll it out. And you want it about the same size as this cutting board, uh, which happens to be a Pampered Chef cutting board. And you'll see that the dough is kind of moving back and forth. So about now I will flip it over and uh, because there's, well, there's still quite a bit of flour, but we'll just keep working with it till we get it the right size. And try to stretch it out to the corners. And of course, when I'm trying to video it, it's not working as well as it normally does, but you just keep at it. You want it in a rectangle, so try to get it out to the edges of uh, this size cutting board, which I'm not sure what it is, but it's the large Pampered Chef. Sometimes you have to go back to the middle and get more dough to roll it out more, okay. As you can see, it tends to curve on the edges. All right, we've got it stretched out as, about as much as it's going to be, so that should work. I have heated this. Um, this was the margar margarine that we had, the Blue Bonnet margarine, and I heated it for one minute on um, at power six on my microwave, or uh, seven, I'm sorry, it was seven. So you just uh, put some of the margarine out and um, then we're going to use a topping, which I keep mixed up because I make these often. And it's one cup of sugar, one half cup of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. That's a cup of white sugar, half cup brown sugar, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. And you mix all that together, and that is your topping. And uh, so some of it will go on here and the rest will go on top. But of course you have to keep in mind that you're making uh, two pans, so you don't want to use it all. Just kind of spread it out. And you want it kind of close to the edges. Not too thick, but you want to get enough. And I use dental floss to cut it, as you will see in just a moment. Okay, now you start rolling it up and try to get it as tight as you can. And you can kind of stretch it down so that makes it roll tighter. Just kind of pull it with your fingers, pull towards you. Okay. And it should uh, hold together, but you can always put some flour on the board to um, right where the seam is to try to make it um, stay closed. 
All right, and with the pan, I'm using a, a disposable pan because I'm making these for uh, some friends. So this is uh, some of the melted blue bonnet margarine. And you just kind of swirl it around in the pan. I try to get it on the side so that it will come out easily. Okay, and we're going to set that right here because we're done with the rolling pin for now. And you take the dental floss and you just make indentations in the middle and in the middle again and in the middle over here. You slide underneath and crisscross it and you have to crisscross it exactly otherwise it's not going to work so just keep crisscrossing you each section has three so there's three sometimes they're not always the same size and there's six right now so that's half of them and Almost done. So it really doesn't take a lot of time to do these. It's uh, once you learn to do it, it's really easy. The, the bread machine, um, actually it's a bread machine recipe, but the key is the margarine in this pan. And uh, what I do is I put it down like this. Is that getting the pan? Okay. And then you turn it, well, and I kind of swirl it on the sides too, because that'll help uh, get it out of the pan when you go to eat them. And then swirl this one. Swirl this one. Get it on the top and the bottom. And I try to put the uh, smaller ones in the middle so that it, they will cook evenly. And after we uh, do this and then do the other pan, we put them in the refrigerator for two to 48 hours. And I find uh, 24 hours works best. You can also leave them out and let them rise again for 30 minutes and cook them right now if, if uh, you so desire. But I usually leave them overnight and have them uh, fresh for breakfast the next morning especially if you have company coming. Okay, we're almost done. Whoops, that one kind of fell apart. Let's see if we can fix it here. So we will put these in the refrigerator and bake them tomorrow morning. So there will be a third video that you will uh, have to see tomorrow. So it's a, a three-parter. Okay, now I just kind of smash them down with my fingers. And then tomorrow morning they will be beautifully risen. And then you usually have some margarine left over, which I haven't made the other pan yet, and I won't do that one on screen, but uh, there should be enough margarine to pour a little bit more over these. And actually, they, they do better in a 9 by 13 uh, Pyrex dish rather than these foil ones, but it works. That way I don't have to worry about getting my pan back tomorrow. So you sprinkle some more cinnamon and sugar over everything. And that's it for this step. See you tomorrow.